Hello, friends. The COT report, the Commitment of Traders report, offers a fascinating look into the minds of the big traders. It's a treasure map, really, a gift, something you know we could not access if it weren't for the CFTC requiring it. And you get that fascinating look every week, every Friday, to be precise. So let's take a quantitative look at this data. So welcome to the Bialamel Show. My name is Manuel Amonatiki. Please sign up for my newsletter. It's right there at Bialamel.com in the middle of the page. You'll get access to uh, my, vid- my new videos and also uh, deals on my classes, on my books. Uh, this is five minutes for data science. You know five minutes so you know i can keep my babbling under control let me turn the timer on keep this honest so what's the CFTC uh, and the COT? So this, the, the COT is uh, run by the U.S. Commodities Futures Trading Commission. It's an independent organization that re- regulates the U.S. derivative markets. It requires that traders or that hold open positions in futures declare them. So this is seamless to most of us small traders. Usually our brokers, like interacting brokers, they, they're going to take care of that. But being able to look at that data in aggregate right, every week, it's, it's a huge gift. And you really owe it to yourself to check it out. Uh, it offers a whole new level of transparency. So... Traders declare their position every Tuesday, and uh, the report is out uh, every Friday at the uh, at market close. And you can go to cftc.gov to get details and uh, look for CFTC, uh, and you look for commitments of traders, and it'll show you a little bit what's uh, what is offered. Uh, if you keep scrolling right here, you'll see. But it's the typical you know future stuff like agriculture, energy, metals, finances, etc. There are two reports offered. There is the long format. And there is the short format, and they both look like crap. Uh, they both really look like they were, you know, printed on an, on a dot matrix printer in the 1980s. If you even know what that that is, uh, thankfully. Quandl at QUANDL.com offers this data. Uh, they, they collect it and they clean it up and they, they have it going back to June 2006, 2006. So a lot of history. It's really cool. Uh, and you can you know download it. Uh, also, barchart.com offers it. So go ahead. They have great, uh, you know, even have Bitcoin there. It's just pretty cool. Um, so the report usually comes in, is, is split into three different groups. You have the commercials, or people who are hedging, uh, who you know who need the product to do things. There is the professionals, and then there are the retail traders, the small people. The some some people uh, they, they've weaved all sorts of stories around it. Like the 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 hedge, the commercials are just too big. Their their hedges are complex. It's just hard to know what they're doing. And the the retail money, they they they, they call them the dumb money. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're calling that dumb money? That you're talking about about me, right? You're talking about us. So that's, I think that's not very nice. But it, and if I had a penny for every time some somebody's intuition proved wrong in either data science or the markets, I'd be a rich man. So what do we do, right? Of course, as usual, we roll up our sleeves and we're going to dig into the data and get our own objective, quantitative answers. So I got the I downloaded this data, right here. Here it is. I went to I got the gold spiders. These are fractional gold shares. I got them through Yahoo Finance, and I brought everything into a Jupyter notebook. Um, so here I'm. Lo- uh, uh, uploading the CFTC data. It's got this weird name. When you bring it in, you'll see there are the professionals. You'll see swaps. They're probably the market makers. You'll see money managers. Those are like the hedge funds. And other reportables are probably the small traders. Uh, so people always say, you know, look at the, the smart money, the hedge funds. Okay, so I'm going to pull the money managers long and money managers short and the open interest. So here's a chart. You see uh, in blue is the long uh, money manager, long in gold. Usually uh, you're very long when the markets are in trouble, you're sh- you know, and you have, you, you're short or you have less gold when the markets are doing good. Uh, and you'll see this inverse image between the shorts and the longs, right? Which kind of makes sense. And the open interest in, in gray. So I also uh, uploaded the gold shares, the fractional shares from Yahoo Finance. And this is the fun part. We're going to do it, run a correlation using pandas core function. Super easy to do. One, uh, it's a number between one and negative one. One is highly correlated. That means they both move in the same direction. Negative one, they move in opposite directions, but but very cleanly. And anything around zero is random. So we're going to see uh, what kind of connection we have between gold and the COT report numbers. Uh, first of all, I'm going to join both tables. That's important because the COT is only released on Tuesday. So I only want the gold price for Tuesday. I don't care about Monday's gold price or Wednesday's. I just want uh, the uh, Tuesday's price. So I'm going to do an inner join on the gold and the COT, and that's going to give us just Tuesdays, right? You'll see these days are just one row per Tuesday. And next, we're going to loop through every one of the features available in the COT report, and we're going to correlate that to the price of gold. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. It's very simple to do. It's just, you know, the correlation function in pandas. Uh, and uh, look at that. Open interest, highly correlated to the price of gold. This is very interesting. The money manager short. People say the smart money is correlated to the gold. Not at all. It's random, right? That's practically zero. Useless. Uh, and then you have some interesting ones is the uh, this one here. The other reportable spreads at 0.71. So 
Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first, because open interest is highly correlated, and I like open interest. That means how many, you know, how much shares are held. Uh, we're going to look at, compare them. So here is gold is gold, and in green is the open interest. Quite a correlation. Look at that. Um, and then we're going to do the other reportable spreads, which, was, which had a correlation to 0.71, pretty high up there too. And look at that. Also pretty interesting. So you, know, you can use this information however you want. Just don't go with people's intuition. Unless you're Larry William, who written a really good book on a COT. I put the link, the affiliate link in the in the description. So, you know, you check it out and you'll help the site. Uh, you know, get your roll up your own sleeves, make get your own answers, right? Oh, time is up. And it's perfect. Um, so uh, before I end the show, I like to push a little bit my stuff, my, my products. You'll see at viralml.com, there is a new uh, learn tab, and that's a, the, the viralml school. And there are three tracks. There's a machine learning track, the market analysis track, and the entrepreneur track. If you're interested in what we just did in that kind of code, we actually do stuff like this in the market analysis track, uh, and we do a lot more. We'll do, um, uh, we do uh, the S&P 500, the VIX, uh, Case Shiller, the inverted yield. We look at all the important uh, fundamental data, and we also look at the technical indicators as well. And, it, and we look at the COT. Uh, we look at the COT for, I think we're looking at Bitcoin and, and a few other things. Uh, it's just just critical reports that you should be able to access, that you should access on a regular basis to, to get your own quantitative objective answers to those things and not listen to people's intuition because God knows what that's gonna, that's gonna, we're gonna end up with that. And on the fifth week, you'll also get my, my ebook, right? The little book of fundamental uh, indicators. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.